today we're making carrot cake a delicious any a cake that's perfect for many many occasions it's perfect for birthdays perfect for holidays and perfect really any time of year most people love it and today the carrot cake that I'm making is just a little bit different because we're going to be making it in a loaf pan. So if you're someone who really doesn't want to have a huge cake for your dessert, this loaf cake may be the perfect solution. A carrot cake with raisins and pecans and a delicious cream cheese frosting. So good, so versatile and you can freeze it ahead of time. Of course, the star of a carrot cake is carrots. And I'm preparing two cups of packed shredded carrots to add into this delicious cake. You'll want a half a cup of chopped walnuts or chopped pecans. Either one will work. Today I'm using chopped pecan. I like to grind my nuts in this nut grinder because when I'm making a cake that asks for nuts in the ingredients, I don't, I don't like to have very large pieces of nuts. So this nut grinder works beautifully. You're going to want to lightly grease and then flour a nine by five inch loaf pan. Now be aware there are different sizes of loaf pans. For this recipe, you're going to want to use a nine by five inch loaf pan. Mix together your dry ingredients. That's one and one third cups of all purpose flour one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one half teaspoon of ground ginger, one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one half teaspoon of salt. Whisk together your dry ingredients to be sure that the spices are well distributed and you don't have any clumps of any one spice in the dry ingredients. That means that your cake is gonna taste delicious once you mix it all together. Mix together three eggs with one cup of granulated sugar until they are well combined. Add in one cup of vegetable oil and two teaspoons of vanilla. Next, add the dry ingredients all at once and just mix together until it's well combined. Wanna be sure all of the dry ingredients are incorporated into the wet ingredients. And once the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients are fully mixed together, it's time to add the yummy additions. The carrots, the raisins, and the chopped nuts. Add the carrots, half cup of raisins, and half cup of chopped nuts, either pecans or walnuts, and just use a spatula to mix all of the ingredients together so that the additions are well coated throughout the batter for the cake. Then just transfer the batter into your prepared nine by five and a half inch loaf pan. Place your cake on the center rack of your preheated oven, preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Your cake will take between an hour and an hour and 15 minutes. Test your cake by inserting a toothpick in the center. And when it comes out clean, your cake is ready. Cool your cake for 10 minutes before removing it from the pan to cool completely. Best part now, the cream cheese frosting. What's better than cream cheese frosting on a carrot cake? Hmm. So to make this, we're going to take a half a cup of cream cheese and four tablespoons of butter. I'm using unsalted butter. I'm going to mix them together using my mixer. And I want them to be well combined. Now to that, I'm going to add a cup and a quarter of powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to mix that together until it's well combined. Now, if the consistency of your frosting seems a little too stiff, you can add a little bit of milk or heavy cream, maybe a teaspoon to a tablespoon at a time. But this is very creamy, 
and I'm not going to need to add anything to this frosting. So this makes a generous amount of frosting and really on a delicious carrot cake like this, you want <clears throat> plenty, plenty of cream cheese frosting. And now I'm just going to decorate it with some pecan halves. A simple decoration for a delicious carrot cake.